Have you ever thought about how small changes in yourself could shake up your life and maybe even change the whole wide world? Imagine if the secret to tackling big problems lies within us. Drawing from lessons of ancient times, like those from Buddha, what if ancient wisdom akin to the teachings of Buddha could illuminate paths to greater happiness and harmony, sparing us the ceaseless pursuit of external solutions? What if, indeed, the true enchantment lies in introspection? Today, we embark on a journey into the reservoirs of ancient Buddhist wisdom, poised to elevate our self-esteem and radiate positivity to those around us. Buddhism imparts upon us the virtues of presence, kindness and gratitude, arming us with the means to navigate tumultuous seas with serenity and compassion. But there's more to it than meets the eye. It offers guidance on how to seamlessly integrate these age-old principles into our contemporary lives, from relishing the simplicity of fleeting moments to fortifying our resilience amidst adversity. It's not merely about self-refinement, it's about recognizing how our personal evolution intertwines with the collective pursuit of a more benevolent world. Each stride forward not only brings us closer to our authentic selves, but also fortifies the bonds we share with others. Through the dissemination of our newfound insights, we foster a community united in the pursuit of personal growth and collective enlightenment. If you're yearning to infuse your life with greater tranquility, joy and purpose, join us on this odyssey. We've curated this expedition with narratives that tug at the heartstrings, pragmatic counsel and contemplative musings offering glimpses into the truths you seek nestled within the ancient wisdom we are poised to unveil. This voyage isn't merely about self-discovery, it's an invitation to illuminate even the darkest recesses of the world by fostering a brand of self-improvement that amplifies our empathy and compassion for others. Together, we wield the power to effect profound change. So let's set sail on this journey of self-discovery and transformation. Let's explore how Buddha's timeless teachings can enrich our lives today. Let's dive into understanding karma, which involves realizing that every action, whether positive or negative, carries consequences. Clinging to resentment only perpetuates negative karma, but by forgiving others, Individuals can break this cycle and pave the way for greater peace and happiness in their lives. Forgiveness in Buddhism isn't always easy, particularly in cases of deep betrayal or trauma. It's a process that demands patience, compassion and self-reflection. Sometimes, forgiveness may not happen all at once. It unfolds gradually over time, as individuals cultivate greater understanding and compassion for themselves and others. Ultimately, practicing forgiveness is a profound act of self-liberation. By releasing resentment and embracing forgiveness, individuals free themselves from the burdens of the past and open their hearts to greater love, compassion and joy. As the Buddha said, hatred does not cease by hatred, but only by love. Through the practice of forgiveness, individuals can break free from the cycle of suffering and cultivate a life filled with peace and harmony. Next, let's discuss living with intention. In Buddhism, living with intention means consciously directing our thoughts, words and actions toward what truly matters to us, guided by our values and aspirations. It's about aligning our daily choices with our deeper purpose and vision for our lives, rather than drifting aimlessly or being solely driven by external circumstances. At the core of living with intention lies the recognition of impermanence and the preciousness of life. Buddhists believe that life is fleeting and uncertain, emphasizing the importance of making the most of each moment by living with purpose and mindfulness. One key aspect of living with intention is clarifying our values and priorities. This involves reflecting on what truly matters to us, what brings us fulfillment and meaning, and what we aspire to achieve in our lives. By gaining clarity about our values, 
we can make decisions that are in alignment with our deepest aspirations, leading to a greater sense of fulfillment and purpose. Living with intention also involves setting goals and intentions that harmonize with our values. Instead of merely reacting to circumstances or going through the motions of life, we actively pursue goals that reflect our true desires. This may involve setting specific measurable goals in various areas of our lives, such as career, relationships, health, and personal development. Another essential aspect of living with intention is practicing mindfulness in our daily activities. Mindfulness involves being fully present in the moment, aware of our thoughts, feelings and actions without judgment. By cultivating mindfulness, we can become more attuned to our intentions and make conscious choices that align with our values and aspirations. Living with intention also requires taking responsibility for our choices and actions. Instead of blaming external circumstances or others for our situations, we take ownership and empower ourselves to create positive change. This involves cultivating a mindset of accountability and resilience, recognizing that we have the power to shape our destinies through our intentions and actions. Moreover, living with intention involves cultivating gratitude and appreciation for the present moment. Instead of constantly striving for future goals or dwelling on past regrets, we learn to fully embrace and savor the richness of each moment, recognizing the beauty and blessings that surround us. Living with intention in Buddhism is about living consciously, purposefully and authentically. It's about aligning our thoughts, words and actions with our deepest values and aspirations and embracing each moment with mindfulness and gratitude. By living with intention, we can create a life that is meaningful, fulfilling and in harmony with our true selves. Number three, cultivate generosity. Generosity is a fundamental virtue in Buddhism rooted in the principle of compassion and interconnectedness. It is the practice of giving freely and selflessly without expecting anything in return, and it is considered a powerful means of cultivating positive qualities such as kindness, compassion, and joy. Generosity in Buddhism is not limited to material giving, but encompasses all forms of giving, including giving one's time, attention, skills, and even forgiveness and understanding. It is a way of opening the heart and connecting with others on a deep level, transcending the boundaries of self and other. One of the central teachings of Buddhism is the importance of overcoming selfishness and cultivating a spirit of generosity. The Buddha himself was a model of generosity, freely giving his teachings, time and resources to all who sought his guidance. He often emphasized the joy and liberation that comes from giving, stating, Generosity brings happiness at every stage of its expression. We experience joy in forming the intention to be generous. Practicing generosity in Buddhism involves cultivating a generous mindset and actively seeking opportunities to give. This may involve acts of charity and philanthropy, such as donating to those in need or volunteering for charitable organizations. However, Generosity is not limited to grand gestures. Even small acts of kindness can have a profound impact on others and bring joy to both the giver and the receiver. Moreover, cultivating generosity in Buddhism involves overcoming the obstacles of attachment and selfishness. It requires letting go of the mindset of scarcity and recognizing the abundance that exists in the world. By cultivating a spirit of generosity, Individuals can break free from the cycle of craving and dissatisfaction and experience a deep sense of fulfillment and contentment. One powerful practice for cultivating generosity in Buddhism is the practice of dana, or giving. Dana involves giving freely and generously to support the spiritual teachings and community. It is considered one of the fundamental virtues in Buddhism and is seen as a means of purifying the mind and cultivating wholesome qualities. 
Additionally, cultivating generosity in Buddhism involves practicing gratitude and appreciation for the generosity of others. By recognizing the kindness and generosity that we have received from others, we can cultivate a sense of humility and gratitude, which in turn motivates us to be more generous towards others. Cultivating generosity in Buddhism is about cultivating a heart of compassion and kindness towards all beings. It is a practice that not only benefits others, but also brings joy, fulfillment and liberation to the giver. By cultivating generosity, individuals can cultivate positive qualities such as compassion, kindness and joy, and contribute to creating a more compassionate and harmonious world. Number 4. Practice Self-Reflection Self-reflection is a fundamental practice in Buddhism, essential for personal growth, insight and liberation from suffering. It involves looking inward with honesty and mindfulness, examining our thoughts, emotions and actions with the aim of gaining deeper understanding and wisdom. At the heart of self-reflection in Buddhism is the recognition of the impermanent and interconnected nature of reality. By turning our attention inward and observing the ever-changing nature of our thoughts, feelings and experiences, we come to realize the transient and conditioned nature of our existence. This insight helps to loosen the grip of attachment and aversion, leading to greater freedom and liberation from suffering. Self-reflection in Buddhism involves cultivating mindfulness, the practice of being fully present and aware of our thoughts, emotions and bodily sensations without judgment. Through mindfulness, we can observe the fluctuations of our mind with clarity and objectivity, gaining insight into the causes and conditions that give rise to our thoughts and emotions. One of the key benefits of self-reflection in Buddhism is the cultivation of self-awareness. By observing our thoughts, emotions and behaviors with mindfulness, we enhance our understanding and evolve spiritually. We become more attuned to the patterns and tendencies of our mind. This heightened self-awareness allows us to recognize unwholesome habits and tendencies that may be causing suffering and to cultivate more positive qualities such as kindness, compassion and wisdom. Self-reflection in Buddhism also involves examining our actions and intentions with honesty and integrity. This includes reflecting on the ethical implications of our actions and the consequences they have on ourselves and others. By taking responsibility for our actions and their consequences, we can cultivate greater mindfulness and integrity in our interactions with the world. Moreover, self-reflection in Buddhism involves reflecting on the nature of the self and the illusion of separateness. By investigating the nature of the self with mindfulness and insight, we come to realize that the self is a construct of the mind, devoid of inherent existence. This insight into the emptiness of self leads to a profound shift in perspective, freeing us from the egocentric view of the world and opening our hearts to the interconnectedness of all beings. Through regular meditation practice, we can develop the skills of mindfulness and self-awareness, deepening our understanding of ourselves and the nature of reality. Self-reflection in Buddhism is a transformative practice that leads to greater self-awareness, wisdom and liberation from suffering. By turning our attention inward with mindfulness and insight, we can cultivate a deep understanding of ourselves and the world around us, achieving clarity and freedom. Number 5. Foster Equanimity Equanimity is a profound concept in Buddhism, referring to a state of inner balance, calmness and non-reactivity in the face of life's ups and downs. It is the ability to remain steady and undisturbed by external circumstances, whether pleasant or unpleasant, and is considered a key factor in achieving true happiness and liberation from suffering. At its core, equanimity in Buddhism is rooted in the understanding of impermanence and the ever-changing nature of reality. 
by recognizing that all phenomena are transient and subject to change. We come to understand that clinging to pleasant experiences or resisting unpleasant ones only leads to suffering. Equanimity involves accepting the flow of life with an open and balanced heart, without being swept away by the fluctuations of pleasure and pain. One of the key benefits of fostering equanimity in Buddhism is the cultivation of inner peace and stability. By developing equanimity, we can remain grounded and centered amidst the turbulence of life, maintaining a sense of calm and clarity even in the midst of challenging situations. This inner peace allows us to respond to life's difficulties with wisdom and compassion rather than reacting impulsively out of fear or aversion. Fostering equanimity in Buddhism involves cultivating mindfulness, the practice of being fully present and aware of our thoughts, feelings and bodily sensations without judgment. Through mindfulness, we can observe the arising and passing away of thoughts and emotions with clarity and objectivity without becoming entangled in them. This mindful awareness helps to create space between stimulus and response, allowing us to respond to life's challenges with greater wisdom and skillfulness. Another important aspect of fostering equanimity in Buddhism is the cultivation of acceptance and non-attachment. Equanimity involves mentoring as a special way of sharing knowledge, guiding others, and nurturing growth, all while cultivating a balanced and compassionate approach to life. Someone offering not only advice, but also support based on one's own experiences creates a connection that can be incredibly fulfilling and have a profound impact on the lives of both individuals. Being generous with our knowledge sets a positive example for others, demonstrating the value of sharing and assisting others. It fosters an environment where everyone feels encouraged to learn and share, making places like schools, workplaces or entire communities more welcoming and inclusive. It's crucial to discuss not only our successes, but also our failures. Sharing what didn't work out can be just as beneficial as sharing what did. It can prevent others from repeating the same mistakes and normalizes the idea that making errors is a natural part of the learning process. Ultimately, sharing our knowledge enriches life for everyone involved. It facilitates connections, promotes learning, and deepens our understanding of the world. By being open about what we've learned, we not only aid others but also continue to evolve and uncover new insights ourselves. Number 5. The value of mentors in the path to enlightenment. Having a mentor is akin to having a personal guide on a grand adventure to uncover more about ourselves and the world around us. They share their own experiences and wisdom, illuminating our path and showing us the way forward, especially as we strive for enlightenment, a state where we grasp profound truths and discover inner peace. Imagine a mentor as someone who hands you a map for a journey that both excites and intimidates you. They've traversed this path before and can point out shortcuts and cautionary spots. Their guidance is like a tailored guidebook, providing us with the confidence to progress. Mentors have unwavering faith in us, often believing in our potential even more than we believe in ourselves. They perceive our capabilities and inspire us to pursue our aspirations even when they seem distant. It's akin to having a coach who recognizes our readiness for the big leagues even when we doubt our own abilities. The stories mentors share about their own struggles and errors are invaluable gifts. They allow us to glean lessons from their experiences, sparing us from repeating the same mistakes. It's like receiving a forewarning about obstacles ahead, enabling us to navigate around them. Cultivating patience in Buddhism involves cultivating mindfulness, the practice of being fully present and aware of our thoughts, feelings, and bodily sensations without judgment. Through mindfulness, we can observe the arising and passing away of impatience and frustration with clarity and objectivity without becoming swept away by them. 
This mindful awareness helps to create space between stimulus and response, allowing us to respond to life's challenges with greater wisdom and skillfulness. Another important aspect of cultivating patience in Buddhism is the cultivation of acceptance and non-attachment. Patience involves accepting things as they are without clinging to desires or expectations for how things should be. By letting go of attachment to outcomes and preferences, we can free ourselves from the suffering caused by craving and aversion and find peace in the midst of life's uncertainties. Moreover, cultivating patience in Buddhism involves recognizing the interconnectedness of all beings and cultivating compassion for others. By recognizing that everyone is on their own journey, facing their own challenges and struggles, we can develop empathy and understanding for others, even when they may test our patience. This sense of interconnectedness helps to dissolve the barriers of self and other, leading to greater harmony and compassion in our relationships. One powerful practice for cultivating patience in Buddhism is meditation. Meditation provides a space for quiet contemplation and inner reflection, allowing us to cultivate a sense of calm and patience in the midst of life's challenges. Through regular meditation practice, we can train the mind to remain steady and patient even in the face of adversity. Cultivating patience in Buddhism is a transformative practice that leads to greater peace, clarity and freedom. By cultivating mindfulness, acceptance and compassion, we can develop a deep sense of inner peace and resilience, allowing us to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and wisdom. Number 7. Letting Go of Ego Letting go of ego is a central teaching in Buddhism emphasizing the importance of transcending the illusion of a fixed, separate self. In Buddhism, ego is viewed as the root cause of suffering as it leads to attachment, aversion and delusion. The Buddha taught that the self is not a fixed and permanent entity, but rather a construct of the mind, devoid of inherent existence. By letting go of attachment to the self, we can overcome many of the mental barriers and conflicts that plague our lives, leading to a state of freedom and enlightenment. We can free ourselves from the cycle of craving and aversion and experience true freedom and liberation. One of the key benefits of letting go of ego in Buddhism is the cultivation of humility and openness. Ego often leads to a sense of pride, arrogance and self-importance, which creates barriers to genuine connection and understanding with others. By letting go of ego, we can cultivate a sense of humility and openness, allowing us to connect more deeply with others and to see beyond the limitations of our own perspective. Letting go of ego in Buddhism also involves cultivating self-awareness and introspection. By examining our thoughts, feelings and actions with mindfulness and honesty, we can become aware of the ways in which ego manifests in our lives. This self-awareness allows us to recognize the ego's influence and to let go of its grip, leading to greater clarity and insight. Moreover, letting go of ego involves cultivating compassion and empathy for others. By recognizing the interconnectedness of all beings and the shared experience of suffering, we can develop empathy and understanding for others, even those who may challenge or threaten our sense of self. This sense of interconnectedness helps to dissolve the barriers of ego and to foster greater harmony and compassion in our relationships. One powerful practice for letting go of ego in Buddhism is meditation. Meditation provides a space for quiet contemplation and inner reflection, allowing us to observe the movements of the mind with clarity and objectivity. Through meditation, we can cultivate a sense of detachment from the ego's influence, allowing us to experience a deeper sense of peace and liberation. Letting go of ego in Buddhism is a transformative practice that leads to greater freedom, compassion and insight. By recognizing the impermanent and interconnected nature of all phenomena, 
We can let go of attachment to the self and experience true liberation from suffering. Through mindfulness, self-awareness and compassion, we can cultivate a sense of humility and openness, allowing us to connect more deeply with others and to live with greater wisdom and compassion. Having a supportive network of people around us can make a world of difference. Sharing our struggles with friends or family can provide us with fresh perspectives, encouragement, and sometimes even solutions. It's akin to having a team that's always there to back us up, cheering us on every step of the way. Remaining flexible and open to adjusting our plans is crucial. Sometimes we need to adapt our goals based on new insights we gain. Being able to navigate through unexpected twists and turns smoothly allows us to overcome obstacles, much like a river flowing around rocks. Celebrating every achievement, no matter how small, boosts our confidence and reinforces our sense of accomplishment. Each time we overcome a challenge, it's a triumph worth celebrating. It's like collecting trophies that serve as reminders of our journey, showcasing our capabilities. Ultimately, persevering through adversity and finding the silver lining in tough situations teaches us resilience and optimism. It demonstrates that we have the strength to overcome obstacles and transform them into opportunities for growth. It's about cultivating a mindset that sees the bright side and perseveres despite setbacks. Confronting obstacles with perseverance and a keen eye for opportunities entails believing in our journey and ourselves. It involves acknowledging that bumps in the road are a natural part of life, building our resilience, learning from each experience and remaining supported and adaptable. This approach enables us to turn challenges into stepping stones toward our dreams, proving that with determination and a positive outlook, we can conquer any obstacle and emerge victorious. Number seven, cultivating continuous learning for lifelong fulfillment. Keeping our minds open to new experiences enriches our lives and adds excitement and vitality. It's akin to always having a door ready to lead us into fresh adventures, keeping our spirits youthful and our curiosity piqued. Lifelong learning isn't merely about accumulating knowledge. It's a means to infuse our lives with richness and maintain a sense of vitality regardless of our age. It's essential to recognize that learning is an ongoing process that never ceases from our earliest years to later stages in life. There's always something new awaiting our discovery. Embracing this mindset keeps us receptive to new information and experiences, akin to perpetual explorers on an infinite journey of enlightenment. Integrating learning into our daily routine transforms it from an obligation into something we eagerly anticipate. It could be as simple as dedicating time to reading, engaging with educational content, or exploring a new hobby. Regular doses of learning keep our minds stimulated and engaged. Acquiring new skills also boosts our self-esteem and confidence. Each new skill we master serves as a testament to our ability to overcome challenges and grow, akin to earning badges of honor that serve as reminders of our accomplishments and personal development. Cultivating curiosity is paramount on this lifelong learning journey. It compels us to ask questions and seek answers, propelling us deeper into subjects that captivate our interest. Curiosity acts as a magical key, unlocking the mysteries and wonders of the world for us to explore and appreciate. Setting goals for what we want to learn gives us a clear direction and propels us forward. Whether it's mastering a new language, honing our musical skills, or grappling with a challenging subject, Establishing these objectives helps us maintain focus and experience a sense of accomplishment when we achieve them. Embracing innovative technologies and learning methodologies ensures that we stay abreast of the latest advancements. In today's digital era, there is a plethora of resources available for learning, 
ranging from online courses to immersive virtual reality experiences. Keeping pace with these diverse options enables us to tailor our learning experiences to suit our individual lifestyles. Connecting with like-minded individuals who share our passion for learning enhances the journey even further. Whether through joining clubs, attending workshops, or engaging in online discussions, these interactions foster a sense of camaraderie and collaboration. It's akin to being part of a vast global classroom where everyone contributes to and benefits from collective knowledge sharing. Reflecting on our learning experiences cements the knowledge in our minds. By pondering over what we've learned, its significance to us and how we can apply it in our lives, we internalize the information on a deeper level. Teaching others what we know serves to reinforce our own understanding. It prompts us to organize our thoughts and articulate concepts clearly, thereby enhancing our grasp of the subject matter. Moreover, sharing knowledge is a noble endeavor that enables us to empower others and contribute to their growth. Embracing the idea that learning is an ongoing process fuels our enthusiasm for acquiring knowledge. Regardless of how much we already know, there's always more to explore, a new idea to ponder or a fresh perspective to consider. This perpetual sense of curiosity keeps our learning journey dynamic and imbues us with a profound sense of gratitude. Continual learning entails remaining receptive to novel ideas, embracing new discoveries, and relishing the pursuit of knowledge. It transforms life into an ever-evolving adventure where each day presents an opportunity to expand our horizons and perceive the world from a different vantage point. By steadfastly adhering to this approach, we ensure that we are constantly evolving, staying intellectually sharp and savoring every moment of our educational journey. Number eight, financial wisdom and mindful consumption. Learning to manage our money wisely and making thoughtful purchasing decisions can significantly enhance our happiness and peace of mind. It's not just about pinching pennies, it's about cultivating a lifestyle that brings contentment because we're not burdened by unnecessary possessions or financial worries. Adopting this prudent approach to money management is akin to laying a sturdy foundation for a fulfilling and secure life. First and foremost, it's crucial to have a clear understanding of our income and expenses. Monitoring our financial inflows and outflows is akin to keeping an eye on the water level in a tank. We must ensure that we're not depleting our resources beyond our means. This practice helps us steer clear of debt, which can feel like carrying a heavy burden that only grows heavier over time. Creating a budget is akin to charting a course for our finances. It provides a roadmap that delineates where our money should be allocated including setting aside funds for savings or emergencies, acting as a safety net. This structured plan enables us to prioritize spending on items that truly matter to us. Regularly setting aside small amounts for savings can gradually accumulate into a substantial financial cushion over time, akin to nurturing a sapling into a robust tree. Exercising prudence before making purchases entails pausing to contemplate whether the intended acquisition will genuinely enhance our lives or if it's merely a fleeting desire. By discerning between needs and wants, we can make more informed spending choices. Needs are essentials for survival, such as food and shelter, whereas wants are non-essential luxuries. This awareness empowers us to allocate our funds judiciously. Resisting impulsive purchases is paramount. Hastily buying items on a whim may provide momentary gratification, but could lead to regret later on. Taking the time to deliberate over significant purchases helps us avoid buyer's remorse and conserve our financial resources. Moreover, Educating ourselves about investment opportunities can facilitate the growth of our savings over time, 
akin to nurturing a garden that yields returns greater than the initial investment. Exercise caution with credit cards. While they can be advantageous when used responsibly, they also pose risks if mismanaged. By exercising prudence and foresight in financial matters, we navigate our financial life with greater confidence and security. We can safeguard our financial well-being and pave the way for a brighter future by being diligent about paying off our credit card balances each month to avoid extra fees. This savvy approach to using credit cards helps us utilize them effectively. Opting to invest in environmentally friendly products reflects our consideration for the impact of our purchases on the planet. It's akin to ensuring that our paths leave the earth as pristine and vibrant as we encountered it. Additionally, sharing our resources with others not only benefits them, but also enriches our own lives. It underscores the significance of community and friendship, often eliciting a sense of fulfillment and joy that surpasses mere material gain. By exercising prudence in our financial decisions and mindful consumption habits, we're laying the groundwork for a life that is not only financially secure, but also brimming with happiness and purpose. It entails making choices aligned with our values, ultimately leading to a life that is abundant and free from unnecessary stress. This conscientious approach to money management and shopping transcends mere practicality. It is a commitment to nurturing both our well-being and the health of our planet. Number 9. The foundation of mindfulness, rooted in Buddhist philosophy, offers a simple yet powerful approach to enhancing our enjoyment of life. It involves being fully present in the current moment, attentively observing our thoughts and emotions without becoming entangled in them. Despite its ancient origins, mindfulness proves invaluable in navigating today's fast-paced world, guiding us towards a state of tranquility and contentment. Imagine mindfulness as wholeheartedly embracing each moment, whether we're in quiet contemplation, strolling outdoors, or engaged in conversation with a friend. It entails immersing ourselves fully in these experiences, thereby heightening our appreciation for life's small pleasures, such as basking in the warmth of the sun or savoring the sound of laughter. Mindfulness also instills in us an awareness of life's inherent impermanence, from the fleeting nature of our thoughts to the ever-changing seasons. By observing these fluctuations with equanimity, we cultivate a sense of inner peace, relinquishing the impulse to control every aspect of our existence and thereby experiencing a profound sense of liberation. Integrating gratitude into our mindfulness practice amplifies its benefits. Reflecting on the things we're thankful for enables us to recognize the abundance in our lives fostering not only personal happiness, but also compassion and empathy towards others. It underscores the interconnectedness of all beings, fostering a sense of solidarity as we navigate life's journey together. Moreover, mindfulness encourages us to extend kindness and compassion towards ourselves, embracing our imperfections with gentleness and understanding. This self-compassion serves as a catalyst for healing and growth, empowering us to confront our challenges with resilience and authenticity. Every small step taken in our mindfulness journey is significant, facilitating deeper introspection and fostering genuine connections with both ourselves and those around us. Engaging in mindful listening fosters empathy and strengthens connections among people by breaking down barriers. It reminds us that everyone has their own unique story, encouraging us to approach others with curiosity and an open mind. Mindfulness doesn't require any special equipment or setting. It can be practiced anywhere at any time. Simple acts like focusing on our breath or appreciating the details during a walk can anchor us in the present moment. These small practices enable us to slow down and savor life's richness. Beyond relaxation, 
Mindfulness transforms our way of living. It shapes how we confront challenges, relate to others, and make decisions that reflect our true values. It's about living intentionally, making choices aligned with our authentic selves and deepest priorities. Embarking on a mindfulness journey parallels embarking on a path of joy, healing, and personal growth. It extends beyond personal well-being, fostering deeper connections with the world and its inhabitants.